Good evening, family. This is our reading for May the 21st. Um, got a little, well, I won't say distracted, but um, we're doing the reading for May the 20th. So we're going to be doing it, I mean, May 21st. So it's actually this video that is titled Seeing with New Eyes. And our scripture lesson is Psalms 119, verse 18. Let us pray. Abba Father, we just want to say thank you once more. Thank you for the blessings of the day or the night, Lord, for bringing us through. Thank you for being here with my YouTube family, TikTok, and Facebook, uh, Pinterest, and um, what's the other one? Twitter, Lord. Not Twitter anymore, but X. I thank you for the venues, Lord, that you're using. I pray that um, individuals, Lord, would come to know you. And those who already know you, that we would all be strengthened, Abba Father. Bless us and keep us and heal our land, heal our lineage, Lord. Thank you, Abba Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Seeing with new eyes. Psalm 119 verse 18 says, Open my eyes that I may see. After I read my friend Danny's description of the beauty spread out beneath her while sitting high up on a ledge of 15,000 feet above the ground, I remembered a hike I took to the top of Mount Katahdin in Maine, United, the United States. Soaking in the view, I sat down, legs dangling over the mountainside. 5,269 feet above sea level, or 1,606 meters. After a while, I looked down and noticed how far I would have to fall before my descent could be broken. My descent. Glancing downward suddenly made me feel dizzy. Confused, I could not think how to swing around and move away from the edge. Even the memory of that moment sent fear clutching at my throat. I compared it to the elevation of 15,000 feet, which is 4,572 4, meters. My friend described and my spatial right brain recalled Mount Everest is nearly 20,000 feet high or 6,096 meters high. That's Four miles. My analytical left brain took note of the distance, measured in kilometers, and stopped to recalculate. At the same time, my right brain knew Danny could not climb so high. I kept speeding through, reading her story, trying to understand. Danny's companion said to lean toward him and close her eyes. The plunge through the air put my right brain in panic as I breathlessly skimmed through the rest of the story, anticipating it to end badly. The dreadful suspense prevented my right brain from comprehending. Danny's excitement at her from comprehending Danny's excitement at her free fall. Then my left brain caught up and demanded. I read it again, slowly this time. Words like skydiver, parachute, gracefully coming down, and trust stood out where they had been overlooked before. What a difference these words made to my preconceived notion. Often, we do skim through a biblical passage, seeing only, only what we expect to see. How can we read it anew, as if for the first time? Here are several suggestions I have found helpful. One, pray for the Holy Spirit's revelation. Lay aside predetermined expectations. Slow down. Pay attention to each word. Mark repetitive words and numbers. They are emphasized for a reason. 
Look up the meaning of names. Amen. Do they enhance the passage theme? Read a different version. Write part of the passage by hand. Did you notice other important details? Analyze the structure. Analyze the structure. Can you find a chism? That's a central feature rising in the middle like a mountaintop with correlating elements on each side, supporting the peak like opposite slopes. Enjoy discovering fresh insights and praise the Lord for his wisdom. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Oh, our reading today for May the 21st, Seeing with New Eyes, was written by Rebecca Turner. I like this story, family. I hope you like it too. I hope you're blessed by it as I am as I am blessed by it. Some of these things I do when I'm reading um, uh, the, the Word of God. But, um, yeah, I'm going to ask God to um, teach me to um, read, to slow down and pace myself, and to pay attention to each word. There are times when I may talk fast or I may read fast and the Holy Spirit lets me know, slow down. And so um, I'm going to start practicing this. Why don't you join me? Amen. Oh, Lord, thank you for this reading on seeing with new eyes, Lord. Thank you for removing the scales from our eyes. Thank you, Lord, for blessing them to look and see what actually is there. Lord, work with my mind and keep my mind uh, settled and focused, Lord. And I thank you, Lord, for the blessing that this may be for someone out there. I thank you, Lord, for my YouTube and TikTok family and friends. I ask an individual blessing, Lord, upon each one of us. Even though someone might see this video a year from now, I ask for a refreshing of the blessing, Lord, for them coming to visit. And I ask this in Jesus' name, and I thank you, Abba Father. Amen, amen, and amen again. Bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, amen. Thank you, family, once more for being here, um, seeing with new eyes. I hope that um, that'll be your blessing as well. Um, in the meantime, this is Miss Norma signing off. By his grace, I will see you all later. And um, have a good night, a good evening, good afternoon, or this morning. And remember, say it with me. The greatest love of all is the love of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. And ask the Lord to show you how to build a relationship with the Holy Spirit. Mwah. Good night, family. I love you. This is Miss Norma signing off.